that record button. Okay, and again, I'm Nancy bringing you through Met Mix. So make sure you have a pair of weights off to the side, water towel, a mat. We're gonna also do some core stuff out. So make sure you had some Wheaties today. And I'm just kidding. As long as you had something, a good snack. All right. We give a little bit of volume. Okay, guys, so you're gonna face me. Feet about shoulder width distance. Take a big inhale, reach all the way up nice and tall to the top. Let's do that again. So getting long to the spine, come on back down. So I want to make sure that you get that blood flowing throughout the body from top to bottom. So let's do that one more time. Now hands on top of those legs, a single count squat. You're going to go down, back up. And as I come up, I want you to watch how I round my backbone. So it's going to go flat and round. Coming up the lumbar spine. Now I want you to come all the way up to the top. We're going to rotate right to left side. So my heel comes up, just a little bit of mobility to start off your two afternoon. Good, side to side. Then I go back to center. Remember that flat back I just showed you? Neutral and round. And it's important that you make sure all those body parts are warmed up before you add any type of muscle work to that. Good, two more. I come all the way up, I'm gonna rotate opposite side. Talk about symmetry in the bottom. Body, make sure that we balance things front to back, side to side. Make sure you're safe when you're training. And get ready to rock. It's gonna come to center. Gonna get a full extension now. I'm gonna reach back down. So I increase that speed a little bit. And with that speed, your heart rate's gonna come up as well. And I want that to happen. Good, one more. Now stay on those legs, double time squat. For four, watch my right leg only. I'm gonna step. Four times to the side. Good. We're going to circle over the head two times. Big reach. Good. Four. Now left leg steps wide. Four. Now that swarms up your outer thigh, your inner thigh, adductor, abductors. Circle over the head. Big stretch. All the way up. I'm going to stay here two more to match that music. Good. Now two squats. Right leg. Step. Now it's two above your head. Big full. And you'll see I'm going to give you visual cues as well as verbal cues to make sure we're all on the same page. Big reach. Good. Now to your right side. One over that head. Good. Left side. And you guys know I'm big into transitions, making sure as you go through all those combinations, we are safe. Good. One more. Now find the floor. Start to reach down. And what I'm doing here is a very functional type of move. I'm getting down low to warm up your glutes, your hips, especially if you've been sitting. That is important for the mobility. Take a slow reach over the head. Watch my elbows. I'm going to squat, and I'm going to go back down slow. Elbows are 90, and I'm warming up that muscle. Strong, full extension. Good. I'm going to go stay in on those legs. Double time squat. Right leg. Lunge back. Four times. Step. Face me. Your arms off. One more, over your head, two times reach. So that left leg lunges back behind you. Step, center, and that warms up my hip flexors. Good, I want you to go back above the head. You've got four. We did lateral, we did verbal. Now I want you to lunge to me, right side for four. Step, push off. Step, push off. Good, come back over the head. Nice and tall reach, four. Good, three, two, now that left leg lunge to me, step, back off, so I'm going to push, strong from the ground, back over the head, big reach, now think of fun, I'm going to put all those things together, so right leg lunge to me, squat to the side, lunge backward, squat to the side, stay in the middle, reach up, alright, first lesson, that was good. You made it through. So left leg, lunge to me, squat to the side. Lunge behind you, back to the side, over the head. That's about as tricky as we'll get, don't you worry. Two more, fight again. Double bicep to me on the lunge right. Squat, keep your biceps. Lunge back, keep your biceps. Arms overhead. Left leg, lunge to me, step wide. Lunge back on the left. Arms up, you got it. 
right leg to me, step wide, lunge it back, arms ahead, good, left leg to me, step, open, go back, and overhead, find those hands on those legs, double time, open right leg, a little bit wider, we're going to get ready to move, two walking squats here, right, come on back, what am I doing, I'm warming up legs, inner thigh, outer thigh, Pop up, little hip, push off. Again, so with mobility, yeah, I feel again, heart rate increase. Good, two more. All those moves we did, lunge to me, bicep right, squat to the right, lunge on the right, remember the overhead reach. Left leg, lunge to me, squat to the side. Lunge behind you, arms up. Remember the lateral walk, two left. Come on back. When you get it down, I want you to squeeze it. That means I'm going to distance myself from the floor. You do as well. Last one. Left leg. Lunge to me. Show me the bicep. Squat to the side. Good. Lunge back. Squat. I added that in. Lunge to me. Squat side. Good. Back behind. I almost sneezed. I was trying to spit out the cue. Left leg to me. Squat wide. Lend back, cut wide. So now you don't have to think as much, right? We're on this one side. Step back. What do we introduce? Arms overhead, big reach. Whoop, back down. This is all body weight training, you guys. You know, no weights in the hands just yet. Want to feel comfortable? We're just moving the body. Get ready to travel. Travel to right. Whoop, again. So show me your distance. Push off. Again. I like to say, you're creating the intensity. How you're going. Right leg, lunge to me, bicep. Squat to the side. Lunge back. Go out to the side. We're going to stand this leg. So let's expand on it a little bit. Make it larger. Step back. Step wide. Lunge. If I only got 45 minutes with you, you bet I'm going to bring it. I'm going to show you different ways to increase heart rate, muscle work, all on your own. One more. Okay, center, double time squat. I'd like you to open up your right leg, arms in front. So I'm gonna pretend that I'm holding a weight right here, like a goblet squat. I got my arms on purpose. Watch my range. Down, back up, so I'm gonna low and high. So I'm kind of just disguising that I'm burning your legs right now. Two more. Arms in front. Keep them and squat. Yeah. Minimize it. Shorter range. Shoulders out of your ears. Yeah. Uh. Four, three, squat. Watch my arms. You're going to pull into waist. Drop and pull. So I want you to use intention on this move, which means I'm going to use a lot of strength, drop and press, drop. Watch my right knee as I elevate, just the right, drop, push, drop, watch the kick, say whoop, drop, kick, drop, kick, one more, stay down and pulse, and that probably surprised you. I didn't really know I was going to do either, I said it the last minute. Left leg, squat and kick. Drop down, that would be a knee. All right, now gonna give me that kick. Left leg, Woo! back down. Push, one more. Want you to stay down, double time squat. Set your shoulder, remember the arms to me. Watch the sweep, back front. Check the rotation, my thumb is under and over. Again, how your legs doing right now? They should be talking to you, right? Back, front, four, three, stay front. Here, change, common. Right knee once, kick your right leg. Right knee once, kick your leg. Right knee, kick it. Stay down, double time. Woo! Find your arms, tap down. So if I find it too much, stay right here. I don't have to go as deep. Find your range. For four, remember the squat and the 
and draw my elbows to ribs. Drop, pull. Woo! So I'm getting ready to change sides, which means my left leg's coming on. Knee first, kick is second. I'd like that left knee. Now left kick. Yep. Push. Knee and you kick low. I don't care. That's fine if you're down here. Don't feel you have to go big with it. Unless you're thinking about kicking somebody, right? Stay down. Squat. Four. Three. Two. Hands on top. Four. Squat. Jack in and out. In. Out. Woo. Get ready. Lean squat. Come to me. Right leg. For four. Three. Two. Tab down. I got you ready for this. Back up on that right leg, please. For four. Three. My arms go up twice. Press. Now your left leg. Walk to me. For four. Remember, how to the ground. Four times. Now back up on the left leg. For four. Arms overhead twice. And I want you to grab a pair of waist sleeves. Okay, so I've got six pounds. And it has weight that match what you're wearing. You get bonus points for that, right? Okay. So remember the combination that I started with. I'm going to do that same thing, but on my right leg. Double biceps. Show me the front. Squat to the side. Lunge behind. And then squat. Same leg. Lunge to me. Then you squat. Good. Lunge behind. And then squat. So you've added a weight in the mix. It's obviously going to challenge it. It's going to make it harder. Push with larger weights. Obviously, that makes it more difficult. Good. Wide. And back. Now, arms. Straight shot overhead. Up. Down. Now, you're going to get a little speed with this. If that's scary to you, you don't like it, shorter range. I can be here and not go as big. Or I can do it without any weights at all. The other option. Push. Squat. Woo! Again. Four. Good. Three. Get ready. Your left leg. Lunge. Five steps to me. Squat to the side. Lunge behind you. Squat. So patterns. Body likes patterns. Just going to repeat the pattern. They go, good. I recognize this. I know what I'm doing. Lunge to me left. Squat to the side. So that's your reason. Your biceps are getting pretty pumped up which is great. One front, one side, and here comes that overhead press. Long and strong. Woo! Good, I'm gonna add a little bit of impact training. Slow jack, just one. Arms up. Slow jack. If you don't like the jack, if you don't like the impact, one squat to the side, and reach. Again, step out. Or you jack. You find what works for you. Out. In. One more time. Walk your squat to me. Right leg leads. Four. Watch. Clean breath. Check the arms. Catch. Dry. I want that again. Upright row. I'm working my traps. Working my shoulders. Now back up on the right. Walk it. Right left for four. Three. Two. Remember to clean and press. I like to tell you the muscles were working. Again, that shoulders, your traps. One more. So the left leg, walk to me. Walk, you squat. Different. Straight shot. Both arms. Now back up on the left leg for four, three. Here come those arms up. Woo! Jack your feet in once. Arms up once. Jack. One. Yep. Come on up. Looks good. Two more. Whoop. Last one. So I want you to stay knee, right, left. Hard. Yes. Bring your weights together. You saw me look up. I want to make sure that mine are together. You might have a quick peek as well to make sure yours are. Why I'm doing that. It stabilizes your shoulder. It's getting me ready for the next move. What would that be? You're going to slowly pull to your knee. One right, one left. And I want to exhale. On that exertion, you're getting oxygen right into the muscle. When you train, when you exercise, timing, range, planes of motion, all that comes into play. We're adding some speed a little quicker. 
variation is so big when you exercise. Changing things up. So what I'm going to do is take a change. I'm going to open up the arms for four, three, two, chest press. Now that's going to be a little more challenging because it's a different time compared to the speed of legs. Four, good, three, hang in, two, now back to that pulse, wide, arm, uh, seven, six, your muscles are going to talk to you, four, but at least I will if they don't, we're going to keep those arms, check my step, yep, yep, whoo, chest press once, military press, chest, uh, Press. Even though those weights are not huge, they don't have to be gigantic for us to get enough repetition to fatigue it. Two more rounds. So it's middle to top. So I'm going to compost right on top. Stay here twice up. You're going to lower down, back up. Ugh. Remember our knees? Bring them back. Back to the party. They're going with those triceps, down, up, watch, just your right side, right side, press, isolate, that is hard to maintain, stabilization, contraction, one more, change side, you're going to drop, left side, whoo, going to shake a little bit guys, that is normal, for four, I want to build your confidence back, so your foot goes down only. Quick knees, right, left, right, left. Now we add some speed with those arms. Pull down. Woo! Looks good. Four, opposite elbow, crosses over. Cross, cross. Now you're standing, working your way. Yep. You've got eight, seven, six, five, want you to travel towards me. Same combo. Cross, cross. Back up. Woo! Ugh. Tell me where you've been. Back up. Keep going. We're still rotating on that side to side. Back up. I don't know about you. My shoulders are just posted right now. One more. Four. Three. That means I'm going to change it. First is down. Arms down. Good. Heels. Just to bring your heels. So it's right, left. Roll your shoulders all the way around. One more. That's going to release us for a dead squat. No legs. Drop. Woo. Down and back up. Take one weight. Put it down, please. Back up. So you're not going to trip on it. One weight. Remember that goblet hold I was showing you? going to drop, stand, drop, whether your hands are here or elbows are here, you find what works for you, ready, set, aim, fire, arms up, press, drop, Whew. watch my option with my feet, there's the impact, drop, press, drop, Woo. all right, shoot, down, too much, stay wide, I don't have to jack those feet at all. Again, you're driving it. Down, pick it up. Four, whoop, three. Take it in your right arm, guys. One, so you drop, push, drop. Too much? Keep your feet wide. But look at my depth. I want you to get down. You drop, press. Four, everybody, feet wide, both hands on. Get your breath. When we're aerobic, it means we're above target heart rate, which is fine, but I want to make sure that you're not always in aerobic. You come back to me when you're okay. Jack those feet if you're feeling right. I'm going to press. Down, up. Left arm. We're going to put the weight in. Punch. My alternative is here. Yep, or I jack. Eight. Woo! Yeah, come on. Strong. Stabilization, one side, working side. Four, three, good, two, no legs, both arms, crank it down. 
Talk to me, you guys. Nice. Watch my right knee. I want you to come with me. Right knee. Four times. Three. Two. Find the four to top. Eight. We're coming that direction. Head up. Chest up. You don't have to look at me, but as long as I don't see the bottom of your head, I want to make sure that you're up. Small one. That means weight goes shoulder, head, shoulder. Breathe in. Woo! Lips. Not in the clear. Nope. All the way. Make it big. Now your left knee is going to get ready to go on up right here. Jam it. Drop. Woo! Drop. Press. Those are large muscles working. Heart rate's so big as well. One more. Stay down. Little guys and pulse. Find the floor. Put your weight down, please. Push up. One exercise you can do works so many muscles at once. And your bear crawl. My right side, I'm not waving at you, but I want you to walk to me on the right side. For four, two push-ups. Only two. That's not a lot. Then walk your body back in. Right arm grabs your weight. Put it over your head. Ah, walk to me. Weight down. I think I remember we did two. Push up twice. Knees or toes? Good. Walk it on in. Left arm says, what about me? Grab your left arm and the weight. Left side. Put it down. Functional. Walk it. I'm going to make you work. Three quick. Three, two. Do it again, please. Three, two. Last one. The right hand drive. Walk in on the right, please. For four. Find your right arm with the weight. Get up. Oh. Put it down. Walk to me. Yep. That means double time push, but we're going to do a shoulder tap. This still works core, which is what I'm also achieving right here. For four, three, walk your hands in, please. Left hand finds the weight, but guess what? We're going to hold it up. Step touch with your weight. I'm under the joint. I'm going to support the joint, and I'm going to try step. So that means I'm going to lower my weight to the opposite side. And again, I'm spotting myself. You heard about up in the gym. Whether you do it, someone helps you along, keeping that elbow tucked in. You've got four, press. Three, two, stop your feet. You're gonna isolate, you're gonna feel it even more so. Seven, six, 10, five. This will tell us if one side is weaker than the other side. Yep, one more. I want you to bring it down, let it go. Tap. I'm going to circle jump, both arms. Up, back. Up. So a little bit of impact there, or I stay down. Two more. Get ready. Bear crawl. Walk to me for four, three, one quick push up drop. Hold it. And then you rise. That's isometric, but it's eccentric contraction. One more time. So that means we walk in, that right hand finds your weight. Come all the way up to the top, hold up. We're gonna step touch this direction, come on joint. So now we're gonna balance out our standing isolation on the tricep behind you, good. So you're coming to the opposite side. And if doing those legs gets you confused, just keep them wide then, nothing wrong with that which I'm gonna eventually get to. Four, good, three, two. Now let's all stop our legs. Isolation on that arm, down, up. And it's gonna shake, it's gonna to talk to you. Right, slow down, slow, slow, slow. Two, single, down, up, slow, down. Single, twice, both hands on it. Same timing. Slow down. Single. Two times. Down up. Now your feet are saying, what about us? Your legs are saying, what about us? I'm going to go for an inner thigh. Too quick. Down up. Slow that down two times. And then quickly twice. So when your feet are turned open like this, it's all about inner legs. Yep. One more. Now my weight comes in front. Double time squat. Take your toes, 
face them towards me. We're going to lunge and turn, side wall. Four, three, two, face me. Four, opposite side, rotate and turn. Woo! Back to center, yep, this is most. <laughs> two times, we're going to turn and then face me. Good, do that again. Side and hold. Face me and hold. Okay. Face me. So I want you to feel the difference when you take away a repetition or an isolation. Now what I'm going to do is add some speed. One and one. Side, center. That back heel has got to come up off the floor to protect your knee joint. To take the twist out of it. Yep. Now I want you to stay to your right and Woo! Stay right there. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that arm. I'm going to reach down. And I'm going to go into a lunge with a row. Drop, row. Watch my back leg. I'm going to step, bring it in. Step, bring it in. So it's a combination with a row and a step. Good, yes. Down. Woo! Again. I want to stay down and hold it. Watch the elbow. Tricep kick back. So what I'm doing here, piggybacking on top of the isolation over the head. Lock it in from the shirt all the way out to that elbow. Push it for eight. Good. Seven. Six. Five. Eight. 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 Four. Woo. Three. Two. Bring your weight in. Turn and face me. Oh. Drop. Elbows are going to rest. What we're going to do is a hammer curl. Down, up. What does the hammer curl do? It strengthens the forearm, biceps. I'm isolating. Too low? Then come up here. Don't have to be that low. There's nothing worse than getting into a position that feels awkward or uncomfortable. I don't want to do that. One more. Slowly rise. Come back down. Open up your hip flexors. Go there again. Nice and tall. Push. Watch where we're going to go. Shoulder height. Rotate for me. I like that one arm. To drop and row. So I've changed sides. My weight is in this side that's here towards me. When you establish you're okay, we add the back leg. Step. Loop. Drop. Woo. And I want you to feel the rhythm of that. Down, up, down, up. Gonna do just a few more here. Woo. Two more. And I want you to hold this one. I'm gonna set up the kickback. Elbow here, extension. And I put my opposite hand on my quad to balance. So rather than being up here, I want you to tip. And what it's emphasized, the rear delt, the back of my shoulder, the tricep. Hear the music gunning. Face me on the gun. Drop, drop. Three, overhead. So go. Three, two, push. Drop. Now those outer thighs, they're going to come along to the party next. That's the next guest. I'd like a single left leg, single right leg. Yes, drop. Open. You look good, guys. You're doing great. Since you're doing so well, I'm going to add the opposition. Drop, open, good, drop. Lean away from that arm. Up, good. That's standing weight. So right there into the core, you're going to feel it working. Drop, open. Keep that going. Low, press, seven. So we breathe to make sure we're oxygenating the muscles. Four. Three, two, come down, lock and load, hold it. Elbows here, remember the hammers. Down, up. So right now, I want to get that weight out of your hands for a little bit. So what I'm going to achieve that is I'm going to put the weight up floor. Uh-oh, walk to me, please. You're going to like this. This is called a pipe. So when I pipe, I take the weight away from my chest, away from my arms. And that's going to stretch the hamstrings, the back extensors, all those muscles that I'm working so hard. 
Now what comes with a good might come with a little bit bad. When I say bad, I mean a little bit challenging. One more. I'd like you to take your right leg, you're gonna step forward, and then the left leg. Now if that weight might get in your way, whether you move it, just kind of watch where you are. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so this time, lunge your, open up your right arm to the ceiling, drop, open, same leg, lunge right, step, open, and have your head follow the line of the arm. More. Remember our pike, good, let's pike it, two by two. That's your little breather, right? Push away. Now, I always like to add a little bit of challenge or something. If you'd like to go first, then it would drop down. So that's called an inverted V. I drop high, and then I come down low. Say, I don't want to go that low. Then you stop right there. Nothing wrong with that. Got one more round to go. So now with your left leg, like it a lunge and reach. Step. Reach, same side. Because, you know, I'm pretty tight. I don't know if I can make that. So then you just stay here and maybe draw your elbow in. Don't worry about that lunge. Last one. Walk your hands back in for four. Three, two. Nice job. Hands on those legs. Round up. Big inhale. Reach all the way up. Let's do that one more time. Need to give you guys a little breather right there. Walk to me again for four. Three, right leg. You recognize the lunge open. Then I'm going to switch left side. Step, drop, open. Right again. Drop, open. Last one. Now your legs. I'd like you to jack or you tap. Out, in. Can you do me a favor and really squeeze your glutes right now? As you jack. Get ready. Get set. Caffeine, back it out. Eight. So they're quick. Woo. Four. Three. Slow jack for four. Out. In. Nice, guys. Two more. Awesome. Take a quick seat for me. Okay. We're not too too long. I just want to take your wrist off. One weight only. Find it. While you're seated, we're going to do a push and a pull. So I'm going to push back. I'm going to pull my weight forward. It's down and back up. Good. But looks good. So you're counterbalancing for four, three. And I did want to get to, as I mentioned, off your wrist, a little closer down the ground. Four, three. Can you hold this one out? Isometric. Shoulders down, a little bit lower. I want to get to the point where you feel that challenge. When you do, rotate your hand up down say what's that do that's your rotator cuff top of the shoulder so important to strengthen that and I'm going to sneakily have you start to sit up watch my weight I'm going to just do a little twist side side seated core with my twist comes from direction and height so watch the arms are going to go up and then back down it's up rotate up down good up Elbow, aim into the floor. Woo! Four, three, two, center, hold it. Knees, knees, shift your weight back on your sit bones. Hold it, breathe, eight. Isometric is so good to do, you gotta breathe into it though. Arms and legs, watch that combo. Isometric, strengthen the muscle. Repetition is for endurance. You want a combo of both when you're exercising. Yep, one weight only, one. Try it, guys. I want to get out any imbalance in your body. I work in one side and strengthen in the opposite. We're going to switch. Stabilization and strength. Ah, now your hip flexors, they're going to start to talk. Not in a good way. So feet down, I want you to push. Woo! Start to roll with it. Counter, but for four, three, I don't want you down there too long, why? You're gonna get used to it and start to get used to it. Come on up, carefully, open up your feet. Careful, head up, chest up, take your left arm. We're gonna look one side, and I'm gonna have my hand right on top of that leg. Yep, good. Hopefully we're all standing right now. 
That's good. Woo! Come on, come on, come on. So it's a one on grow on that side. Whip, whip. Watch my right. You're going to step with me. Step together. Woo. Again. So then there's a lot of unilateral moves. It's between one side's working, one side stabilizes. Now I'm going to add on. Watch the outer side. We're going to step, open, come back. So you step. Right leg, back to center. One more. I don't want it to be too tricky. Face me and squat. Eight. It's not fun when it's too tricky. We have to go to workshops to keep up with our certifications. And if I'm taking a workshop that's too tricky, I like run around in my bag looking for something to eat. Here we go. I'll push it up. Right? So put your hand on top of the leg. Squat and stand. Woo! Come on, come on, come on. Now this left leg, to balance, we step in. The minute you add two body parts, it's going to take over a little bit stronger. And your body will tell you which it's going to be. No right or wrong, the test happens. Adding the outer side, check me. One, two, three, four. Outer side. Again. You got it. Get four more of the tricky combo. Gonna call it the 2C. Tricky combo. Down, up. Two more. Woo! One more time. Okay, guys, leave your weight right in the center and squat. Watch my right leg. Curtsy cross. Down, up. Watch my arms. So, what I'm doing is functional right there. It's a diagonal twist. Angle down for four. Good. Three. Two. Simplistic. Middleman. Straight shot. Up. Down. I don't want you to think about this part. Just let it go. Push. Squat. Woo! Seven. Six. Good. Four. Now that left leg is going to step by diagonal. See? Let's bring those arms. Back down. Again. That strong move. Bring it across. Good. And then back down. Double whammy. High and low. Center. High, low, up. Woo! And we're going to revisit the one arm. The one arm. Press. Up and down. What else do we add to the mix? Your legs. Remember that. Push. Lean. Seven, good. We've been working that core the whole time, which is good to do standing core, side line, on the back, whatever you need. Weight goes down, small squat. Find that ground, tap again. Whoop. Okay, crawl to me, guys. Little guy, crawl. Crawl right back. Now I'm going to have you take both hands on the weight. Both hands, bring it up. Put it down. So functional. Walk to me. Four, three, two. If that's not for you, hang in place. Grab your weight and find your other weight, please. Both arms. Strong. Overhead. Lap. Right knee. Left knee. So there's the balance again, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. Stable guys. Big time. 90. You're out. Eight. Good. Seven. Six. So right now when I've got that knee working, my hip is working as well. I'd like to change that to a squat. Right leg only. Step. Watch. My right arm. Look what my left side does. It's got to hang out up there, right? Then it's going to shake. Yep. Switch. Left arm, left leg. Ugh. Breathe into that. All the way out and in. That is so hard to hold that arm up there like that. Double whammy. Right side. Two speaking and doubles. Yep. Switch. Whew. Now this is where we're going to make a funky face, right? It is hard. You would not be smiling right now. Maybe grimace, yep. Squeeze. One. One. Right. Left. Push through. 
Oh, man. Hang in for four. Three. Now the right leg step. Both arms open to a chest press. Both. Left leg open. Awesome. Right again. So all of a sudden our weights feel like they're about 30 pounds. And I hope you're not holding 30 pounds right now. Last one. Hold it. Palm in. Five steps. Way too many reps for a heavy, heavy weight like that. Breathe. Four. Oh. Three. Two. Slowly rise. Over that slow. Bring it down. Four. Three. Two. Again. Should be shaking right now. Lower. Keep going. Scout. Remember the bicep. In time once. Overhead once. One more. I want you to keep the weight with you, but you're going to grab a mat for me. Ugh, man. Man, oh man. Okay, we're going to sit. I want you to do a combination of where we just got. Because you're going to find your mat. I want to do a little bit of chest press. So that means what we were doing standing, I'd like it to be on the ground. So we're going to sit here, chest press, and I'm going to start to lower the body. While you're still chest pressing, you bet I am. I want you to roll back, and when you get there, turn your arms inward. Squeeze up, down. Good. You're going to rotate in, back out. And I like to say thinking about making a nice big shape of the C, so those arms are coming out and in. Check the legs. One at a time. Yep. Again, squeeze up, down. Now I'm going to have you hold both your legs 90 degrees as you're still going. Watch the change. It's a chest press. I'm going to go straight up. I took out the C curve, the C shape, and watch the leg extension. Press. Up. Down. You got it. Eight. Woo. Breathe in. Press. Good. Right to the top. For four. Three. Now your feet are going to stay stationary. My arms are going to come down for two and then back up. I'm going to add the legs. If you're okay, they're going to come down in two and then come back up. How do I modify this? I would put one leg down and then still maintain a long spine, long extension. Talks about your breathing. I want you to exhale as you come up. Breathe into it. Down, two, again. Looks good, guys. Remember, shorter range is okay. Hold this one up. Watch the arm. I want you to bring it down. Palms are up. This is a tough move. I'm going to have you do a little pulse. Your shoulder blades are clearing. Eight, seven, six. Take your weight, vertical, that's that hammer. For four, take your weight, turn it down, that's your forearm. Go back to a hammer, thumb is up. Now palms are up. Four, three, two, hold. Carefully weights go down. Find one leg, you're in the shape of an L. I want you to hold, shoulder blades up, switch sides. Hold it, I'm gonna grab, switch again, hold. Number two by two. Woo! Now I want you to go either above or behind the joint of itself, not just on that knee joint. Either under or over. Now we're going to add some speed, but I want you to bend the knee here and watch. I'm going to roll, shift my weight to each side as I grab that leg. Yep. Eight, seven, six. So what we're doing there is now we're so on the back, work in the core, hands, find the head. So I'm going to support the neck for four, good, three. Now I want you to find your instep, one arm at a time, let's reach, Woo! oh yeah, keep that going, four, go back behind the head, four, guys. Now your feet are going to stay down and I'm going to maintain that twisty motion. Whew. So let's think about coming to the midline. 
which is the center of the body, one arm prop, one arm work. Cross chop, find the outside leg, reach, eight, seven. Too much, stay to bent elbow. Or you go long levered, four, good, three, two. Now I want you to roll your body up slow, real slow to the top. Hold there, take your hands behind you. Put your fingertips are facing in, bend your knees. Uh-oh, what am I gonna do? It's a tricep dip, your body weight here. So push back and rail those elbows. If you distance it, stay up on the heels, got a little more hamstring. Yep, four, three. Now watch my shift, I'm gonna go forward and back. Uh-huh, and that's we talked about ranges, planes of motion. I'm just changing the range. Four, and then I think about your wrist, I don't wanna to go too, too much. So I want you to come down on your elbows. What am I new here? I'll draw those legs. It's a double, knee into the chest, and I'm shifting my weight to the outside of your cheek. Your glutes right there. Turn, rotate, eight. So think about all the different variations you did to work your core. You did standing, you're on the back, overhead with the weight. Now I want you to come center. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a cross leg here. Roll your body back. Hands behind your head for eight, seven, six. Watch the legs. Four, three, two, I'm gonna reach. Ankle, ankle. Now I just threw about like 10 different things in a matter of a couple minutes there. So if you couldn't catch all of those, gonna come back at another time doing them for four. Feet down. One of my favorite things to do is a med ball throw. Why is that? Because you take a lot of the energy and you it straight on the throw. Let's try it now. So that's med ball. Pretend you're chucking something across your face. Back down. So if that's too high, stay down here. Or I can go really for it, right? Yep. So again, you find what you want to do. Woo! Hold this one up. Hold, turn it around. You're saying, oh good, if it be easy, I want you to lay down. Find your hands right underneath you. Take your weight, shift all the way back into a child's pose. Then I want you to come all the way down. Okay, then the hands are gonna come up, you're gonna push back. They go all the way down. So this is all body weight training. I'm strengthening my back extensive. And now watch my combo. I'll come a little bit quicker, and I'm gonna shift back. So it's gonna be one, two, one, two. It's a dynamic active recovery here. Okay, you heard me talk about those shots. Option to go. Straight leg, and then back. So it's straight, and press. Two more times. Drop, stand the knees, the knees. Okay, all the way this time. Just lay down for me. Take your arms behind you, palm to ceiling. I'm gonna lift and lower. Strengthen the back. Up, down, yep. So without stopping, guys, I want you to bend elbows 90. We're gonna lift and lower. Squeeze your upper middle back, yep. So important to balance out. Straight onto back, abdominals and back. One more, hands under you, slow, come on up. Tabletop, opposition, arm to leg, and I want you to switch sides. So what I'm doing, keeping my head front facing down, elongating my arms, my legs, my spine. Reach, come on in. Let's do that one more time. I'm gonna keep you much longer, so walk your hands in. It's gonna go right into mobility squat. What's mean? I'm going to drop down, elbows, I'm going to face you guys, elbows are either in front here or on top, but I'm going to get space in my spine, fingertips to floor, hike your hips up, give that double hamstring stretch, hold, good, drop back down, elbows here, and we'll just slowly roll your body up, one vertebrae at a time, once you're up there, open up those arms out wide, good, bring it up. Push your hips to me. Right wrist, right leg, step. 
Nice and big. Let's switch other side. Step behind. Woo! Big reach across. Good. Open up the feet. We're going to go to a V shape. That's going to make us close to your chain stretch. Reverse. Push down. Hold right there. Grab behind. So now it's your right wrist for that trap, that tibia. Good. I want you to switch other side. Kind of bopping along right here. <laughs> okay. One more hamstring. I like to do hamstring strikes. Because if you have tight strings, pulls on the low back, on the hip flexors, so important you get that mobility. You guys keep stretching. I'm just going to stop the music so I can talk a little bit. A little bit of that cake by the ocean. Okay. <laughs> so while you're down here, transfer your body right forward up onto the balls of your feet. And what we're going to do there is just in case your footwear is wearing down or you're not wearing the best sneaker right now, shift back to your heels. I'm just going to have you arch. Really important because sometimes we're in our living room or dining room or kitchen or wherever you may be doing this. One more time, roll to me. And I want to make sure that that foot releases, come to neutral, elbows rest on top. Sometimes we grip arts in our shoe and what that does is also give us a little more of a contraction at the top. So just helping that release. Roll your body up slow, feet together, big inhale, palms up. As you exhale, pull back. I want you to bring hands to heart and I'm gonna thank you guys for working hard mentally, physically, and hanging out with me like you did. So I appreciate everybody's time. Let me hit my stop recording.